Hello everyone, this is Amanda with the Livingston Parish Library. For today's adult craft, we're going to be making crepe paper flowers. For this craft, you will need crepe paper of various colors that you want to use. Uh, you'll need some scissors. You'll need some cardstock if you have it. Um, I'm going to be using a stapler, but you don't need it. Uh, necessarily. It just makes things a little bit easier when you're cutting out your petals. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to cut out a small circle out of your cardstock that you're going to use to attach your petals uh, onto. So I'm just going to use my scissors and cut out the circle and it's going to be like if you want to do a bigger flower, you're going to want a bigger circle. I'm just going to do kind of a small one. Okay. So that's going to be my base. Uh, today I'm going to do a red and pink one like this. So you're going to take your crepe paper and cut about seven, eight inches off. And then you're going to fold them in half. And then you're going to fold it. And you're going to fold it again. And then I'm going to staple it just to have a little bit more stabilization when I go to cut it. So you're going to want to cut your petal shape out on the, um, not on the open side where you can see all the layers, but on the side where you have uh, the crease from the fold from where you folded your crepe paper in half. All right, so I'm going to hold a crepe paper like this and I'm going to cut out a petal shape. And I'm just going to do kind of like a heart shape but without the inward point on the heart. So what you have here, when you open it up, is a petal shape and you can kind of just shape it and it looks like a petal. So I have some that are already pre-cut. I'm just going to add these into my bowl. So I forgot to mention You'll need some glue. You can use stick glue or I prefer the Elmer's glue. But stick glue works. So what you're going to do is you're going to put some glue on your cardstock where you're going to put your first petal. And then you take one of your petals. Now remember flowers like the petals on the outside are bigger than the petals on the inside usually. so. I'm going to pick some of my bigger petals first and then just press them on and I'm going to go all the way around my cardstock base. Okay, so that's you're going to be your first outer layer. And just remember that when you go to, when you're cutting your petals, you can really do any uh, shape that you want. If you don't have to do a rounded petal, you could do some more pointier ones. So I'm going to do a pink layer on my inside. I'm just going to go ahead and pull some of these out. 
And then you just go around doing the same thing. And you've got an inner ring that kind of looks like that. Um, so I'm going to do another ring of red, but my petals are a little big, so I'm going to cut a few of them down. Let's try folding it in half. That's about the size that I want for my inner ring. So I'm just going to cut the rest of these to about the same size. Right. So I'm going to add some more glue to do my last ring of petals. There we go. So we've got our last inner ring of petals. And so now for the, the middle part of the flower, I'm just going to take some of the pink crepe paper and just kind of fold it in kind of bunch it. like so, and then I'm going to add glue to the bottom of it and put it in the center of my flower. And the, <clears throat> the glue will dry clear and it'll end up, this one will look uh, like this one. So with these flowers, um, you can add some wire to the back of the cardstock. I've put some tape and some glue on this one, and then you have a flower with a stem on it. Uh, you could also attach a magnet to the back of the cardstock if you just wanted to have some flowers for um, your refrigerator or any other magnetic surface. All right, um, that's it. Thank you for joining us today for our adult craft.